Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is uh, find the whole from a percent. This is lesson 5-6 in um, our textbook and don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com and so there's our common core strand for our most awesome teachers and our question here is how can we find the whole given a part and the percent, okay? So here's an example here. We'll start off with this to talk about percent. So a percent is equivalent to the ratio of a part to a whole. So suppose, for example, that there's 20 marbles in this bag right here and five of them are green, okay? So the whole is all the marbles in the bag and the part, which is 20, and the part is the ones that we're look, talking about is the green one. So there's five green ones in here, okay? So the ratio of the part to the whole is 5 over 20, and it's equal to the percent, excuse me, the percent of marbles that uh, are green or 25%. So how do we get 25%? Well, remember, part to a whole, in this case, is 5 to 20 right there. And remember, percent is per 100. So if we multiply 20 times 5, that'll get us 100 right there. And then 5 times 5 is 25. So remember, we got to multiply the top and bottom by the same. So percent is per 100. So to make this 100, this is going to have to be 25 or 25% 25 right there, okay? All right, so we can use the relationship among uh, the part, the whole, and the percent to help us solve some problems here. So here's an example. Daniel has saved $28 uh, towards his summer vacation. That's 20% of his goal. So what is the total amount Daniel wishes to save? Okay, so one way is we can use what's called a double number line. Okay, so the Remember, the whole is the total amount that Daniel wants to save, and the part is how much he saved so far, that $28. So the double number line shows here's 20% on top right here, and that represents $28, which is what he saved. So this is the part right here. So what we're going to do is find the total amount he wishes to save uh, that represents the 100% right there. All right, let's just move that up right there. Okay, so think we got to make the, this 20% 100, so we want to... Uh, what can we multiply the 20 with to get 100 right here? So 20 times what equals 100, and then whatever we do, we multiply 28 times the same number right there. So 20 times 5 equals 100 right there. So when we multiply 28 times 5, I like using the distributive property and breaking these up into compatible numbers, easier numbers to work with. 28 is the same as 20 times, or 20 plus 8. So 5 times 20 is 100, and then 5 times 8 is 40, so we get 100 plus 40, which is 140 right there, okay? So 28 uh, is 20% 20 of 140, and Daniel's goal is to save $140. Okay, easy, huh? Hope so. Uh, so explain the relationship among the parts, the whole, and the percent using the information in the problem. Okay, so here the part is the money uh, that Daniel has saved so far, which is the $28. The whole is the total amount that he wishes to save, which was the $140. And then the ratio of the part to the whole was the percent, or 20% right there. Okay, here's another way we can use equivalent ratios. So uh, we'll use this a couple of times here. So write the relationship among the percent. Okay, so remember the percent equals a part to a whole right here, okay? So think the percent is 5%, so we're going to put 5 right below the percent right there. And the part, so the top part here, the part is that $28, okay? And the, and the whole is the unknown part, so we're looking for the unknown part right there, okay? So let's write the percent as a ratio, okay? So 20% is 20 one hundredths right there, okay? And then we'll simplify the known ratio. So 20 one hundredths, well, we can simplify this because 20 goes into 100 five times, so if we divide 20 divided by 20, and then 100 divided by 20, so whatever we divide on top, we've got to divide on bottom, is gives us five right there, okay? So then we can write an equivalent ratio. So we want this numerator to be 28, not one, so we want the numerator to be 28. So what we're gonna do is multiply this one times 28. So if we multiply the one times 28, then we gotta multiply the five times 28, okay? And again, five times 28 is still 140 right there. So, so 28 is still 20% um, uh, of 140, and Daniel's goal is still to save $140. All right, let's do another one. So 24 is 5 
percent of what number? So let's write the relationship among the, the percent, the part, and the whole, okay? So the percent is 5%, so we're going to put 5% right here, okay? And the part is the 24, so 24 goes right here, okay? And then the whole is the unknown. So now we're going to write uh, this percent as a ratio, so 5% is the same as 5 one hundredths. So now we're going to simplify that known ratio, so we want this uh, top to be 1, so since 5 goes into 100 evenly right here, we'll go 5 divided by 5, which is um, uh, 1, and 100 divided by 5 is 20, okay? So now we want to write an equivalent ratio, so this numerator should be this 24, so we're going to multiply 1 times 24, which means multiply 20 times 24 right there, okay? So 20 times 24 is the same as 20 times 20, which is 400, 2 times 2 is 4, and then add these two zeros. And then 20 times 4, well, 2 times 4 is 8, so add a 0 is 80, so we get um, uh, 480 right there, okay? So 24 is 5% of 480. All right, so explain how we can check our answer in the last example. Well, we can find 5% of 480 and find out that that answer is 24. So remember, 5% is 5 one hundredths right there. And so if we did 5 one hundredths times 480, here I did 5 times 480 down here, and we get 2400, so 2400 over 100, because this is over 1 right there, and then the zeros cancel out, and we get 24 right there. All right, you guys, hope that lesson makes sense, and take care.